Uh, the next one, okay, first of all, th- we banned this guy, the next one. But what, here's what I'm going to do, okay? I don't know how th- – Joe, you're probably involved in getting him back to this. Well, I, 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 I left we're, Here's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to beep his name out when I say, when I say this guy's name. Okay, can you do that, Joe, when can, we do this? I can absolutely do that, yes. Okay, the next one's from The subject is Jim wait, Ross. Wait, the wait, subject is banned? Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't he banned? He was banned. So, why so I don't know why. I don't know why. I, I forwarded it, just left it up to your discretion because it was in the mailbox. So. Okay, we're banning okay. his name, all right? But his. Uh, but uh, let me see if this um, – because this might be an interesting letter. The subject is Jim I Ross for – Subject is Jim Ross versus Disco and AEW. I'm back. You can kazoo that. I'm back. How did he know that we were going to read this? Did he I call you ahead of time and you assured him that you were going to have this on? No, no, you know no. what? I'm going to take this one further. This will be the last letter, whether it's Patreon or <laughs> free. So use another name. All right. I'm back. So during Disco's numerous Twitter battles over the past seven days, X, and he puts in parentheses, X-Pac got taken to school. The one that stood out the most was Disco versus JR. As, I'm, as much as I love to bury Disco and set him up for abuse from AEW marks for my enjoyment, there's no denying that he made a flawless point against JR, who in turn looked kind of silly by defending something online that he basically buried on the air. Here's my question to Disco. Do you think that Jim Ross may have a little back? Have a little backstage. I'm assuming he's heat in AEW for a points out the flaws in the AEW product on the air. P.S. Hey Conan, uh, you could edit out that whole part too at the end there too, Joe. Just with the with the sense of the beep, you know. No. Um, does he have heat? I, I'm, I'm sure he does because he gets heat from the fans, and they're like all, <clears> you know, I, I don't know, but 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 bro, we talked about that like I mentioned on that on that show uh, after the the pay per view that all the heels had uh, had no heat. And we came back the next show, and it's like th- there wasn't a lot of heat on the show at all, except the very end. And that wasn't even really heat on the inner circle. You know, they didn't even get a heat. They just had to pull apart. Brody Lee didn't get, wasn't even on the show. Archer wasn't even on the show. And all the, the rest of the guys in the show, there was booked with no heat. So mm-hmm. I was right. So, but what you, what you say? Did you see the, the pull apart with Tyson? Yeah, who was yes. that white guy that was with him? That- All right, so like this, an, is what an, an Meltzer, this is what Meltzer now says. This guy's name is the Mooch. He's an actor, and he's a friend of Tyson, but Jericho knows him. Did you watch that pull apart? Like, of course. Like, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> this is how disorganized supposedly was. They didn't know. They had When they were in the ring, they, they had, had no, no idea clue. these guys were coming out. Yeah. All this, this many guys, right? Right. So if you watch, you know, how, and you know how they didn't know because nobody said, "Hey, there's Rashad Evans, ex-champion." Yeah, you know, they so, didn't even know he was there. Right. So we talked about this on Russo show. So this is my this is my theory of what happened. Okay, and I may be wrong, but I'm assuming right. when <clears> stuff <throat> like this happens, I'm assuming because Jim didn't know any some of the guys, Excalibur didn't know, but like they didn't they didn't buzz him. Right. You know how it is like at the show sometimes the guys gonna do a spot and the show's already started and then his boys come in. Yeah, you know, on the show. So Jim Ross and the the, guy, the announcers may have already started the show. They've had the production. I mean, this thing, you know, they start and like these guys are coming out and like you know they haven't been backstage or nothing. Nobody gave them the Hey, by the way, these guys are going to come out with them and stuff. And nobody clued them in on, on who these guys were. You right. know. So if you watch this, I text Jericho and he never texts me back on this. I want to get confirmation. Now, of this. now, oh, the, now, go ahead. Though the agent of that match should have immediately when they saw them. Relay that well, message to the to the you commentators. Can, you can see some of the mistakes they're making with with continuity on their show. Mm-hmm. They're still going through growing pains, yeah. right? Okay, so um, but bro, if you watch the when that thing starts, when the shoves start, that mooch guy gets right in up on Jericho. Oh yeah, he I think okay, him. bro, Jericho. I I, tech, I he hits him with the right cross. You let let him up. That that is a sh- I guarantee you that was a shoot punch. Yeah. Right, because it looked like a shoot punch, and the guy sold it like a shoot punch. Yeah. And then when the guy staggered and got up, Chris went, you know, like like kind of went right at him and pie faced him, like he was pissed off at the guy. Yep. Right. The thing is supposed to be with him and Tyson. Okay. <laughs> right. Now, that's the thing. And he went right to that Mooch guy because that Mooch guy got he was like shoot mad. Right. Yeah. So, yeah the, 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 as, we, as we would say in wrestling, he went into yeah. business for himself. Totally. Right. And the guy, but the guy's not even in the business. You brought yeah. up Mark in there. And like, didn't try, and the guy tried to go right, try to go to the business for the eye pain on it. You know what I, you yeah. know what I read? Uh, that Chris and he was in a movie with Chris, so they knew each other. But I guess yeah, Chris but still, didn't you know get, he but was like, come, bro, yeah. somebody's fucking up the spot. You know how it is. We're trying to do business. Yeah, yeah. It's a big angle. Yeah, you know, and somebody's like, hey, I'm, yeah. I'd be like, get the fuck away from me. Yeah. It's like, which is exactly what it looked like. You know.